Hello and welcome. Today we're starting our journey in Pentiment, or our story I should say. This is a game where apparently we're going to be doing a lot of reading, so it might be kind of an audiobook uh, where I'm just narrating whatever is being written. But it's set in medieval times. I haven't looked up exactly when, but it's, you know, you're going to have witch hunts, I believe, and um, general stuff with peasantry and so on. We're trying to solve murder mysteries, from what I understand. It is another one of these games where you're supposed to go in blind, so that has that's what I've mostly been doing. Um, you know, I read the the blurb on the Steam page, I guess. Uh, yeah, the art style is definitely interesting. That's what sort of stood out to me uh, when I came across it. It's like a old painting kind of style. So we'll see what it looks like in game, and I don't really know what to expect mechanics wise. I did see in the keybinds that you are moving around and you have quick response options. So it's going to be maybe like a, you know, choose your own, I don't know, choose your own adventure. What are those books? You know, those books where you, you go through uh, and you choose an option, it goes to page 60 or something. That might be a choose your own adventure. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Let's jump right in. Pick the middle option as always. Easy read fonts. This game uses stylized fonts and writing effects that may be difficult for some readers. Uh, okay, so I'm going to stick with the stylized fonts just because it looks nicer. If I have troubles with it, I'm sure it'll let us switch at some point. And it automatically saves your progress as you play the game. Excellent. Right, I'm going to have some trouble reading Latin. Oh, I have a rock. What am I doing with this rock? Here, let's give him a footstool. We can move the stone, we can press the stone. I'm aware of that. Why would I want to do that? I, I've just wiped out some of the text. Remove. Oh, no. What am I doing? This doesn't feel right at all. I'm ruining the, the book. Am I supposed to just wipe out the entire page? Not a fan of that sound either. Oh, hang on. There's still some of the writing left behind. I go more in one spot. Does it do anything? No, not quite. Oh. All right. I'm not sure what the purpose of that was. This is by Xbox Game Studios, I guess. Well, not by them, but... Oh, it's by Obsidian. Pentiment. I'm not sure what that means. Is that a... Is that a term for something? Mathematics. Music. Ein Traum. Is that a rap? Rabbit with a battle axe. Redwall was a great series. I loved that series when I was in uh, elementary and starting high school it's uh for those who don't know redwall is a series of books where there's anthropomorphic an uh, animals um in kind of a medievalish setting there's like a castle called redwall and each of the books sort of has a bit of a time jump between them and so you're following this castle and its inhabitants throughout the the years and uh there's they have adventures off to other lands and we're in the game. Andreas, and the abbot said to me, Andreas. Oh, here we go. I don't want you distracting the sisters in the library. I need to finish this commission by the end of April. Keep your conversations with Brother Piero to a minimum. So, character development. We get the impression that Andreas is a bit of a layabout. 
Uh, I need to finish this commission by the end of April. Are we going with a more serious or a more jokey? Uh, well, let's say I need you to finish this commission by the end of April. Isn't that much earlier than you were expecting, says Beatrice. Yes, he had told me I had until the IDs of May. Asshole. And he, uh, I guess there's maybe swearing in this game. And he's not going to pay you anymore, is he? He has no appreciation for the cost of your sweat. The yield of labor should not be measured in coin, but in personal satisfaction and self-improvement. Says Socrates. Personal satisfaction doesn't put much food on the table, though, does it? Hey, hey. How did you reply to the abbot, Andreas? Says Prester John. I said I would do my best to get it done by the end of April. I told him it would be done when it was done sometime before the IDs of May. I shrugged and kept on working. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pose as a a good worker. Trying to impress. With discipline and mindfulness, you will persevere. If you don't kill yourself striving to meet the abbot's unreasonable expectations. What she said. What's the point in burning your candle to the nub for the idiot abbot's sake? Despite the abbot's ire, you must endure. Soon you will have finished both the abbot's work as well as your masterpiece. And then you will return to Nuremberg, where marriage and your new life as a master await you. So it has Nuremberg underlined. Can I... Nope. Oh, now I have the mouse. I wonder if I was able to mouse over that. Yes, marriage to someone he has never met. Hardly ideal. So they're really painting the scene as, uh... Not... Not enjoyable, I guess. Well, the alternative is becoming a philosopher. Philosopher. Like I... Oh, Jesus. Then you should definitely get married. Is she pretty, at least? Uh... Uh... Well... Let's say, oh, who knows? That's not why I'm doing it anyway. It is growing late. The Wheel of Time stops for no man, Andreas. I fear you must leave us. Ah, true, your majesty. Will you visit us again soon? Uh... Well, I can't always dream of this place, your majesty. We have lofty ambitions. Of course, if you're not here tomorrow night, I pray you will be someplace as pleasant. Well, Prester John seems like a nice guy. Grobian, please see Andreas safely home. Of course, your majesty. Until next time, Andreas. Until next time, Your Majesty. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Pay no mind to the other fools, Andreas. This is a scene I never do. Ow. At least I would if they'd stop stepping on my feet. Watch where you're going. Hey, hey, they're fools, Andreas. No point in trying to teach them anything. I think... I think I read at some point that, uh... The fools and jesters of back then were actually quite well educated. Uh, I know old John wants you to... To uh, endure Abbot's shit. But since I take you home, I get the last word. When I say quite educated, I mean relative to the others of the time. Don't let him run you ragged, boy. Uh, the abbot can't push me around. He just starts trying to keep order in the abbey. I'm an outsider. Do trouble. It will be fine. I don't want to cause any trouble. I'm a bit of a beta, aren't I? That's no way to think about it. You need to stand up for yourself. My shin kicked. Yeah. Would you please stop? Ah, that guy's totally doing it on purpose. We need to stand up for ourselves. I give up. Take me home, Grobian. As you wish, Andreas. Good morning, Ursula. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Time to get up.
All right, so it's April of 1518. We have some stuff. You know what? I, I, uh, I have an eye here. Picatrix, Key of Solomon, the Heptameron. Friar Farine keeps giving me all of these books to read. Can I not move the mouse? Okay, I'm curious about the... Uh, oh, the underlining probably means that we got information about this? No. Journals, maps. Okay, probably under people. Prior Farine. Okay, that's what that is. Uh, originally from Hungary, Farine is the prior of Hirso. Hirso? Kirso? Abbey. And is responsible for running the scriptorium known for the interest in esoteric books. Um, Brother Pierre of Verona, artist of Kirso Abbey, known for his kind... Oh, here we go. That helps a lot. For his kindness and helpful nature, Brother Pierre is also respected as a master painter specializing in works of extraordinary color. Cool. And, uh... So we have E and Q to zoom. We can also use scroll wheel to move around with WASD. Kind of interesting that we can't... Um, click on things. All right. We can right click for back as well. Now, my mouse seems to be appearing and disappearing at random here. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong with that. Tasting. What is this? Tassing. I'm not sure what tassing means. I guess we're going to learn some lingo. Wow. Okay. So I don't have a... Uh... I'm not going to spend too much time on the map right now, just because we don't have much context for it. Even though I guess the map is what gives us context. Ex Libris. Andreas Mahler. 1518 Nuremberg. Okay. What is this? I really should clean this up. Oh. Oh, I see. I clicked. I see. I clicked. Uh, I really need to clean this up. What is it? No idea. But I cannot move past it. Okay. Let's go to Gertner House. There's Ursula. Hello, Ursula. Hello, Clara. Hello, Ava. Hello, Andreas. Alright, okay. I'll talk to Claire. Good morning, Andreas. Did you sleep well? I did sleep well. You're a positive fellow. Oh, I'm so glad to hear it. Anyway, I know you'll be off to the Abbey, so I packed you some food. Almonds, cheese, and some of the rye you like from the Albans. Otto wanted me to ask you to join him for dinner at the Abbey. I'm going to guess Otto is her husband. Oh, never mind. I'm going to guess not. That's interesting. Okay, so auto auto top by stopped by. Hmm. Yes, around dawn. I'm not a fan of the grin on on Andreas's face. Here you are, Andreas. That's too kind of you, Clara. Many thanks. Master Andreas, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, could I... I mean, could we... Do you want to dance? Would it be too much trouble if you paid next month's rent today? Okay. And if we raised it by two groschen? I'm not sure how much that is. I hate to ask, but we're behind on our taxes to the Abbey. Two months behind. Oof. Peter's losing his hair over it. Even more than usual, I mean... All right, Peter must be her husband. Of course, it's no problem at all. Besides, we wouldn't want Peter to lose any more of his precious hair. Um, I mean, yeah, it does seem like a mismanagement thing on their part, but they also seem friendly. What was? What did she give us in the envelope there? If they're behind on money, why is she giving us an envelope? Oh, it was the invitation. To the Abbey? Um, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll say we can We can help. We're not overjoyed about it. We're so grateful. We're so grateful, truly, Andreas. I apologize for, again for asking. It's just awful to be stuck in such a position. Our taxes get harder to pay every year. 
Peter works hard, but it just never seems like it's enough. St. Luke bless you for helping us out. Speaking of St. Luke, how is your masterpiece coming along? It's been two months now, hasn't it? Are we, are we a writer or an artist? Slowly, I'm afraid. Most of my days are spent doing work for the Abbey. It's only during the Divine Office that Prior Farin allows me to work on my masterpiece. The Divine Office. Reasonable restriction, but slow, go slow going. The City Council doesn't require it to become a master. I'm making it mostly to show clients and for my own sake. And yes, when I do finish, I will go back to Nuremberg, where I will marry and open a workshop of my own. If it's a workshop, it's probably painting. From Nuremberg to a university, and now traveling the world as an artist. Somewhat solidifies that. What a life you have ahead of you, Master Andreas. Yes, I suppose it does feel like I'm starting a new chapter in my life after all. Oh, after. Uh, a little too much fun. Well, so far we've, we've played ourselves off as a... Uh... Yeah, we're going to say some wonder. You must be rather frightening, starting all over again. Uh, oh, it's my family. Yeah. This will be remembered. Oh, no. They helped me even after I dropped out of university. I can't let them down. I'm sure you make your family proud, Andreas. Anyway, I don't know anything about art, but I've seen you sketching such beautiful things in your little book. What's up with these uh, little typos that get corrected? I'm curious. Your masterpiece must be wonderful. Uh, it's getting there, is what I'll say. Uh, it's getting there. It's getting there. We're confident, but not overconfident. Hard work will get you all the way. That's what my father used to say. God rest his soul. Now, I have to get back to my own work. Have a good day at the Abbey, Andreas, and we'll see you after the Vespers for supper. Not tonight, but thank you. Klaus Drucker invited me over for supper. There's a lot of uh, names and terms being thrown at us. Uh, of course, please say hello to the Druckers for us. Of course. Until later, Clara. I'm not going to worry about looking up every term that comes up, uh, unless it feels relevant. Uh, what's this? Hang on, there's Ava, and then... Oh, Clara. Right, right. And Ursula. Alright. We'll head out to the farmyard. Here's a gentleman. Peter. That's the husband, I imagine. Ill Peter. Uh... Is that, is that just a term for beggar? What's ill, Peter? God bless you. Uh, Andreas. Ah, oh, yes, Andreas. This weather's been awful. This town's gone to shit since my days. Uh, yeah. Yeah, those are two very separate statements, aren't they? Uh, eh. Well, of course they wouldn't know how to do anything now. No one follows the old ways anymore. We all need to stand in a circle and dance. The old abbot didn't bother us much about our customs. He didn't mind if we left a little offering to... to perched on? To keep the skies clear. The weather fair. Matthias knew that... something. Christ was in our hearts, even if the white lady's name was on our lips. Hmm. Yes. Well, we, we certainly get that impression that they banned all observances, and that's clearly why Phil Peter is a little bit bothered by it. Uh, about St. Moritz. <laughs> that's clearly what he thinks. Uh, I thought St. Moritz protected Tassing. Yes, and St. Sassia too. But who do you think protected it before they came along? Saints weren't the first to watch over Tassing. My father knew that. Old Ranning Kemper knew that. Ranning Kemper. That bastard Abbot may not like it, but some of us keep the traditions alive. I won't mention that at the Abbey. Yeah, I'm curious. What do these traditions entail? 
When you get up in the night to take a piss, go around the right side of the house and never go back the same way. Ah, yes, that's why the weather's bad. He's he's not been going the right way when he gets up to piss. That way the witches don't steal your soul. <laughs> yeah, it's time to go. All right. Thanks, old Peter. Hmm. All right. God bless you. <laughs> he's clearly not all there. Oh, Big Jorg wants to talk to us. Morning, Andreas. Morning, Big Jorg. How is it going? You working today? Just taking a rest for a bit. Dad's still in the field. He hit a big rock with the plow, and it took me who knows, Lord knows how long to pull it out. You off to the abbey? Every day but Sunday. <laughs> uh, where else would I be going? Damn, Andreas, I don't know. Just making conversation. Smells like a storm's coming. No, I must have gone up, gone around the house the wrong way this morning. Huh, it just smells like fresh alpine air to me. You've been traveling too much. Where was it you spent your wan wander yard before you came to Tassing? I'm guessing that's like a year off? What, or, I don't, what, what would a young wander yard be? Uh, base? Okay, okay, so we're like choosing a background. That's cool. All right. Basil, uh, Andreas knows some Italian and French and can reference cultural touchstones from Basil and near Bern, Zurich, and Freiburg. Knows some Dutch and French and can reference cultural touchstones from Antwerp, Bruges, and Kent. Italian, a little Greek, and can reference touch cultural touchstones from Florence, Venice, and Milan. You know what? I'm going to go with low countries. Dutch and French. Seems cool. Yeah. Antwerp, Bruges, and Ghent. All the great art cities of Flanders. Where's that? North and west, down by the sea. There's your problem. The sea air has confused your sense of smell. Spend enough time in these mountains and you'll be able to smell the storm coming. How long will that take? Hmm, 10, 15 years? I don't think I have that long, Big Jorg. A uh, storm will probably come by by then. What'd you spend all that time in Flanders doing, anyway? Other than art, I mean. Interesting, they showed... Uh, so, our choices have little symbols to the left here. And there they showed... You know, um, what do you say? What'd you spend all that time in Flanders doing, anyway? And they showed the symbol to the left. So it's going to tell us when something we've picked in the past is relevant. Or, or had an effect. So, are we a hedonist? No. I'm... I'm are, our Andreas is a little bit of a, uh, well, he, you know, I said earlier, he's a bit of a beta male. Craftsman lives to work and dedicates all his time to his art. Spends all his non-working free time finding and reading as many books as he possibly can. Has a penchant for getting involved in petty schemes, pranks, minor crimes, and fist fights. Devotes much of his time to self-promotion, optimizing business expenses, making investments, and balancing his books. Uh, I kind of like the businessman idea. We're going to be helping out the farmer people here. And we are willing to help because they're kind people, but we weren't overjoyed about giving away money to them because we have a bit of a businessman side. So let's, let's go with businessman. Learning how to run a business. The art will come with time, but how to manage finances, deal with clients. I have to secure my place in the world when I become a master. That's going to come from coin. Or is that just like meant so the the whole correcting uh typos is that meant to be purely stylistic or is it going to be important later you're a smart man andreas wish i could say any anyone in my family knew anything about business most years we barely have enough to get by the peasant slot i suppose anyway i have to get going Jorg, let's go Dad's already acting like I'm talking, to, taking too long, even though I did all the work to get that rock out. See you later, Andreas. Until later. I do actually think we should go talk to Peter. Go see Peter here. Andreas. Alright, he doesn't really want to talk to us, that's fine. Let's go to the town commons. Here's a blacksmith. Name is Endris. 
Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I can run along the roadways. Martin, please, can you give me a hand here? What do you want? I'm keeping an eye on them. That looks a lot like standing there and doing nothing. Martin, for Christ's sake, help your cousin. Ah, morning, Andreas. Excuse us. One of the fence rails fell and the sheep sta started hopping it. Uh... <laughs> I'm not gonna yell at Martin. Uh, is there something I can do to help? Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm not, uh... Yeah. Thanks. It'll probably take an hour or two to track them all down at this rate. Bloody sacrament. Oh, blood sacrament. Ooh. Sorry if I put any of in there. Um... Damn it, Veronica, what did I say about blasphemy? Sorry, Mom. Oh, hang on, so... who's What's the cousin doing here helping these two? I, I, got, I was under the impression that Hetty was Martin's mother. Oh, look, there's something going on up at Steinauer's... Steinauer's place? I don't know if I read that correctly. Oh. Some fancy people on horseback. Who's that on the horse? Looks rich. I don't know, Martin, but Lucky is giving him an earful. I haven't seen Lucky that worked up since Peter and Clara's wedding when Johan pulled his pants down. Sounds like a wedding. Knock two of my man's teeth out. You don't want to feel the strength behind a stonemason's anger. You think he's a noble? He looks really rich. I think that's a safe bet. Golly darn, Martin. Stay out of trouble for once. What, Aunt Hetty? Behave yourself. Don't we have enough to deal with right now? Send the sheep after him. Andreas, if you wouldn't mind moving your skinny little body up the road, we need to get these sheep under control. Of course. See you later. Don't work too hard. Alright, good luck. Alright, what is this? Shift, walk, toggle. Oh, okay, we can, we can walk around. All right. Do we want to check out the nobles? Here, let's just get in their way. There we go. Oh, oh, I see, I see. We can't get up that way. Here's a sheep. Oh, no, that's Andres. Here's this forge. For some reason, we can look at it. His smithy is so much smaller than the one he uses at the abbey. Deeper in the way. Okay. Can we go in this house? No, we cannot. Um, let's go... Well, we need to get to the Abbey. So Church and Druckers. Sheep are blocking this way, so that's really our only option. Church and Druckers. Ah, it's quieter here. That's nice. Close. Uh, yes, I'm not going to read upside down text. Morning, Andreas. How is it going? Morning, Klaus. Another day at the Abbey. Another few hours to work on my masterpiece. Good to hear. You still coming by for supper tonight? Marie and Bert would love to see you. You really need to see these new woodcuts I have for an Italian edition of Till Ullenspiegel. I didn't realize Father Thomas let you print books in Italian. Come on, Andreas. He's not that strict. I know he's just trying to protect people from... Uh copy typesetting. Uh heresy? Sure, why not? Some of the things people some of things people are I just missed a word there. Some of the things people are publishing these days would make a bishop's head spin. Or an abbot's. It doesn't take much with that one. I know, but at least I don't have to deal with him much. So, supper tonight after Vespers? Of course, thank you. We'll see. Great, I'll tell Marie and Bert you're coming. See you then. Pretty sure it was already set, though. We, we told Clara that we were going to it. Uh, let's check out what Vespers is. Is this... Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. 
compress. All right, both buttons just zoom in here. How do we get back to the definitions? Vespers. Uh, let me experiment with some buttons here. Oh, what was that? Okay. Was that C, I think? Uh, there oh. we go. Okay, mouse has appeared again. Glossary for Vespers. Uh, monastic hour at dusk. One of the ma major prayer hours is followed by supper. Okay. Okay. Just a, a schedule thing. Press back here, and it was C to close it up, I think. There we go. Hello, gentlemen. Thomas. God bless, Master Maller. I hope your week is going well. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing. I don't know if it's a Mahler or a Mahler. I'm going to say Mahler. It's more comfortable. Thank you, Father. It's going quite well. I'm just on my way up the hill to get to work. We'll stay pleasant. Good, good. Andreas, I don't recall seeing you at Sunday morning mass. Oh, are we Sunday today? Shoot. You understand how important it is for your salvation that you receive Holy Communion, don't you? Um... Make excuses or apologize. We, we would apologize. You don't have to make a promise to me, but our salvation is contingent on the... Oh, my. What a blessed day to receive such an illustrious visitor. Visitor. Da -da -da -da. Master Maller, this is Lawrence, Baron of Rothwigel. Rogel? A great lord from the countryside near Worms. Good to see you, Father Thomas. It is nice to be remembered fondly. I only wish all of your neighbors were as welcoming. Well, yes. What brings you back to our little town? My wife and I were returning from a trip to Venice. We spent a few days in Innsbruck and it was terribly dull. I mean, it has a certain charm common to these Alpine cities, but the place was crawling with nobles for the Emperor's diet. Huh? The Emperor, was he there? Did you see him? Oh, briefly, but he was sitting for a portrait at the time. Quite lovely. I didn't want to bother him or the painter. I mean, they could they could pause the painting. I, I guess getting him out of the zone is not, is rude. Um, I'm gonna have to look up what the diet means because that, that confused me. Who is the artist, my lord? I'm sure you know him. An older man from Nuremberg with enough of a reputation to paint the Emperor. Okay. Uh, so, as a businessman, I would know that you must mean Albrecht Dürer. As a fellow Nuremberger and artist, I admire his business acumen as much as his talent. Well, two artists from Nuremberg in a week. What are the odds? Anyway. My wife wanted to stay a bit longer in Innsbruck, and I decided to ride ahead to make a visit to, in, to Curacao. I heard Father Matthias died shortly after my last visit, of course. Oh. I like the name, Matthias. A great loss for the Abbey and for us all. Indeed. By good fortune, I recently came across a, a copy of the Historio Tassie he was reading during my last visit. Historia Tassie. I think. Father Matthias was hoping to find a second copy to corroborate the contents of the first. It contains some fascinating details about the history of this place. I'm afraid they might even cause a bit of a scandal. Hmm. But it must be off. There will be time enough to discuss Tassi Tassiings, Tassings past later. Just imagine the noble is stuttering there. I commissioned a manuscript from the Abbey through Father Gurnet. And I have come to check on its progress. Oh, my lord, if you have come to see your manuscript, you should speak with young Master Maller here. Uh, yeah, woo. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to be a complete stick up. I'm going to go with, it is an honor to meet you, my lord. Andreas is a journeyman artist from Nuremberg. For the next few months, he's also helping the Abbey Scriptorium. A Nuremberger artist working in an abbey scriptorium? In 1518? 
Oh, we should talk, Andreas. I must know the story. Uh, well, I'm late. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, surely my lord would find little entertainment or companionship in me. I'm not going to be down on myself. Of course, my lord. It would be an honor. Wonderful. It's so rare to find someone in the countryside who knows anything about art. Very noble-like of him to say that. Thank you for the introduction, Father Thomas. Come to supper at the Abbey tonight. I'm inviting you to the Abbot's table. Is... did the Abbot invite me? Oh, don't worry about it, Father. Just show up after Vespers. What is he going to do? Refuse us? I... Excellent. We will see you then. Well, he's, he's nice to his friends. That's good. Miklos... Miklos? I'm dismounting. Run ahead of us and take the horses to the Abbey's guest house. Please. Add a please at the end of that. I'd like to take my time talking with Master Mahler. I'll meet you there. At once, my lord. So then, a journeyman from Nuremberg. Forgive me for saying so, but you seem a little old to not yet be a master. Are you unmarried? No, I'm not married, but in truth I came to my vocation later than my father and brothers. I was in university for a number of years at Erfurt. Erfurt? Wonderful! The same university as Martin Luther. Have you read his works? Tremendous mind. He says things about the church that should have been said years ago. Might get him into trouble, but he's a brave, brilliant man. Wait, you may have even met him. Did you? You must tell me. Ah, no, he was a few years ahead of me. That was not a brilliant man. Uh, uh we, we're, we're a suck up. Still, his ideas do seem fascinating. I agree wholeheartedly. I simply must meet him if I get the chance. I wonder if the good brothers of the Abbey have heard of him. Perhaps they have even read his list of 95 theses against the church. They probably have heard of him. Father Matthias was not about having a lively debate. I hope Father Gurnet does not disappoint in that regard. But enough about Luther for now. Tell me about your university studies. Uh... That, that seems like a bit of a, a rude response there, so... We'll say, forgive me, Baron, but why did you in but did you attend university? You seem very well educated. Ah, no. My family is merely wealthy enough to have provided me with all of the books and tutors a child could dream of. I love all knowledge, from Aristotle to Cicero to Piscino and Erasmus. Don't know that one. And everyone in between and yet to come. I may have misjudged the Baron. It seems he is as well read as any university student. That's a thought. I'm not saying that to the, I'm not saying that to the Baron. That's a, a thought bubble. In truth, I am simply happy to ha speak with another well-educated man. Now then, did you earn your doctorate? Uh oh. Uh, I'm not sure why it just did that. So it just it just erased the. The fancy text and replaced it with regular text. I... No, I didn't. Only a master's degree. I started working toward a doctorate, but didn't finish. Oh, that's a shame. Well, what was your area of study? Oh. Well, seeing as this guy is all happy about Martin Luther, let's not go with theology. Imperial law. Andreas knows the basics of the fractured systems of law that govern the various states of the Holy Roman Empire. Medicine is familiar with the basics of human biology, medicine, and illness. So, as somebody who's interested in business and art, I don't see medicine making a whole lot of sense for us. Imperial law would certainly make sense from a business standpoint. We're you know, going to find um, whatever ways around things we can. So, yeah, let's go for imperial law. Oh, I have to hold it. Law. I suppose I thought I could practice in Nuremberg. I never had much interest in the subject, honestly. A bit dull for my tastes. Do I get the opportunity to say it was dull in my taste as well? 
Uh, besides, the Empire is such a mess of jurisdictions. Bavarian law, Rhenish law, Franconian law, nonsense. I'd rather use my money to pay someone who studied the nonsense than learn it myself. You. If I had any faith, I would have prayed you'd never show your face here again. Curse you, Lawrence Rothwogel. Hirsch's dogs tearing you to pieces would be too kind of fate. Hirsch is the, the, the white lady, right? That's out, out, uh, outlawed. Binding words there. These rustic communities display a shocking lack of hospitality, don't you think? I agree. What was that about? Who knows? By the time I finish guessing, the old crone will probably be dead. Dot dot. Well, what of your early time in the university? Every student must study the trivium and quadrivium, yes? Did you have a favorite subject? Gym class. Oh boy. Heavens and Earth knows a great deal about the constellations, heavenly bodies, and their movement. I'm, I'm going to go again with we're more focused on business. We are going all in on the business and being a little bit stuck up, but not too stuck up. Occultist knows a soul endangering amount of theoretical and practical knowledge. 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 Um, not occultist, orator. Rhetoric. Yeah, we're good at rhetoric. Um... Logician instinctively thinks through the implications of information he, as he receives it, is added up to spatial analysis, and can easily perform complicated calculations in his head. Latinist. Um. Hmm. I'm thinking for Andreas, we're going between orator and Latinist. Latinist because it would be useful in a. I'm not sure what it would be useful, to be honest. Orator would be good if you're trying to be charismatic and sell to clients. Since we're interested in doing that and art and all that, I think we'll go with Orator. Excelled in rhetoric in university, he is a skilled teacher, persuader, and public speaker. No, you know what? No, that does not match. Sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna rescind my statement because we are a little bit as I said, we're a little bit stuck up. So it makes more sense that we go between these two, Latinus and Logician. Um, now I think about it, Logician does make sense. That's why we've got the business mind. We're going to go with Logician. Logic, Geometry, and Arithmetic. Quite interesting for an artist. Was Aristotle or Organ on the foundation of your study? Aristotle's or Argonon. I don't know what the Organon is. Yes, the Organon for logic and Euclid's elements for geometry. But the past few centuries have yielded wonderful new texts on logic. Peter Abelard provided the foundation of scholastic philosophy and established the primacy of Aristotle's work. The Englishman William of Ockham gave us Sema Logicae, arguing nominalism against Platonic realism. And, of course, Thomas Aquinas gave us the tools to employ both faith and reason in the pursuit of truth. All monks and friars, of course. A great deal of work to force Aristotle to fit within the church's vision of truth. Is that so wrong? The question that these great men should have had to wrestle logic into what the church established by fiat and force. And your other studies? Was there anything else you excelled at? Oh, yeah, okay, great. We'll go with Latinus here. Oh, hold it. I focus on Latin. It's useful in so many ways, but especially for understanding manuscripts. Wonderful. A beautiful language used in the greatest empire of the ancient world. Tell me, what is your favorite sententia? Sententia. Yeah, I think that's a great one. Remember to tell the tale of another's kindness many times, but whatever kind deed you do for others, keep quiet. Yes, Cato the Younger, an unflinching defender of the Roman Republic. 
But what did his principles get him? Aunt death at the hands of Caesar. Not quite true. He died by his own hand. And when Caesar learned of it, he said, Cato, I resent you for your death, for you denied me the chance to spare you. A bitter end, but not without a measure of sweetness. Ah, there's the abbey. Yes, you only had a few steps to go. I have good memories of this place and of Father Matthias. I was sad to hear of his passing. How did you come to know him? How did you come to know of Kearsaw at all? The family have been patrons of Kearsaw for, oh, I don't know how many generations. Some years ago, I heard that Kearsaw still had a wonderful library and artisans. Professional artists have taken over most manu manuscript productions, so I was shocked to find an active scriptorium here. We gotta, we gotta sell ourselves. This is as good a place as any to create art. Certainly, though I'm sure you miss the comforts of Nuremberg where you're, when you're stuck in a drafty old abbey like this. Um, that seems like a bit of a downer statement, so we'll stick with, uh, I'll get back there soon enough. I'm in no rush. Positive thinker. That's good for me since I still appreciate the abbey's work. I commissioned a manuscript through Father Gernot a year ago. I thought he would stop. I thought I would stop by and check on the progress. Yeah, I thought we established that like ten minutes ago. Wait, are you this, the artist working on it? What? You're talking to me this whole time without realizing that after Father Thomas told you that? Wait, are you the artist working on it? It's a prayer book with twenty illustrations. I oh. Well, now I'm confused. I thought we were the artist working on it. I know the work, but no. I do know the artist well, the venerable brother Piero. How venerable? <laughs> he still has his wits and his skills, if that's what concerns you. Brother Piero has an incredible talent with color. And I very much look forward to seeing it. Isn't that a cool thought? Like, commissioning books and stuff for the art and, uh, and like, the, the talent in, um... In writing fonts, really. Miklos, tend to the horses and the baggage. I'm heading up to the abbey. Yes, my lord. Well, let's not keep the abbot waiting any longer. Nuns. Quite unusual for a Benedictine house to have monks and nuns, even if they are separated. Yeah, that does seem weird. The church closed most of them centuries ago. But then, Kearsaw is a place out of time in more ways than one. Um, are we perceptive? Do we notice that sort of thing? I feel... Um, I'm going to go more interested in, in factual knowledge than picking up on, on hints. Why were they closed? Monks and nuns living side by side cannot behave themselves. I don't blame them, though. The church shouldn't either. It's just human nature, after all. The whole point of it, though, uh, is to... Strength of will. Ah, you must be Father Gernot. I am Lorenz, Baron of... Yes, the Baron of Rothvogel. So wonderful to have you here again. We actually did meet on your last visit. I don't know how to read this. Like, uh... Voice-wise, I'm not sure what that fancy text is meant to imply. Ah, if you say so. I am not good with remembering faces. Really? Please forgive me, my lord. But I wasn't expecting you for another few days. Yes, I know. But I rode ahead. I just couldn't wait to see my manuscript. I'm sure it's no trouble. We, I, yes, I mean, no, it's no trouble. Did you want to see it now? Oh, in a moment. I could do with a bit of refreshment, though. May I grab something from the kitchen? Kitchen? Dot, dot, dot. Yes, yes, certainly, my lord. I will meet you there.
Andreas, I don't know what you were doing with the Baron, but I need you in the scriptorium now. <laughs> yeah, of course, Father, I'm eager to get to work. Then get to work. It. I should have asked him about an advance for the Gertner's ta taxes. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Well, we didn't, we didn't, yeah, I guess we did kind of tell them we could help. Maybe I could just convince Brother Ma Mathieu, Brother Mathieu to help me pay me early. Find a way to get paid. Hmm. Shrine. Covenant? Convent? Covenant. <laughs> um... Church. Well, we are supposed to get to work, right? Cloister. Hang on. Yeah, where am I supposed to go? Where do I go to work? The scriptorium. If we go... Hang on. Can I zoom in? Oh, that's not what I want to do. Good. Oh, sorry. I was pressing E. So, there's the shrine... There's the church. According to this, we could probably get there through the sacristy. Uh, but if we go through the cloister, that seems like the more appropriate way. So let's do that. Yeah, we're just going straight to the script room. It's time to get to work. The infirmary. Hopefully we don't have to visit there. Monastery Laquarium. Large Garden. Courtyard and Lavatorium. Refectory. Sibhat. Uh, we'll, we'll talk to Sibhat later because we do have to get to work. I don't know if this game has a time thing. Actually, you know, it probably doesn't. Let's talk to Sibhat. God give you health, Master M Mahler. Brother Zabhat, I am surprised to see you still here. What's that supposed to mean? As am I, but I will be leaving soon, returning to Rome. I and my bishop regret that we could not reciprocate Father Rodolphe's generosity earlier. He showed much kindness to our priests at the Council of Constance many, many years ago. Excuse me, I had to take a drink of water there. Will you remain in Rome? That is up to my bishop, but I will miss these mountains in any case. I feel he'd be more softer spoken. You should travel to Ethiopia, Matt Dollar, and see the highlands. God has blessed my home with a wondrous beauty. With a smile. I would love to. Someday I still need to... I, sorry, I would love to someday... I still need to return to Nuremberg and open up my workshop. Yes, someday. Until then, if you are ever in Rome, I may still be around. I would like that. By the way, if you have some time in the next few days, it would be nice to share a meal with you and some of the townsfolk. The townsfolk? I am accustomed to strange looks, especially in rural places like these, but I have had kind words with the baker and his wife. Is that, uh, is that the gentleman we're having dinner with? No, it's not. Uh, oh yes, the Albans, Ulrich and Gret. I offered to tell a story to the children and their mothers over a meal someday. Gret seemed excited about the idea, but I would be more comfortable if you were there as well. Aren't we both strangers in this land, though? Um, well... I, th I don't think it matters if he eats here with the brothers. He's interested in eating with the townsfolk. I can certainly make time. Thank you, Andreas. I look forward to it. God give you health. Nice guy. Uh, dormitory or the cemetery. Hang on. There's the church. I gotta check them out. Okay, yeah, we want to go through the dormitory. And I pressed the wrong button. There you go. Oh, 
I would have thought the dormitory would be on an upper floor. So there's the script room. We definitely want to go there. Um, there's the script room. Let's go in that door. We'll surprise everyone. <laughs>